guys, it's Nicole. Today we're going to be learning about inferring logical conclusions. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to make logical inferences about a text. Here's our key vocab associated with this skill. I highly suggest you take notes during this section. The word logical means something that is logical and is grounded in sound evidence. An inference is an educated guess based on a logical evidence presented in the text. A conclusion is another word for an inference. Here are the key points for today. Authors want readers to be able to infer logical conclusions, so they include relevant textual evidence to support their claims. Relevant textual evidence can include quotes from experts, data, statistics, or examples. Now, how do we identify a logical inference? Let's take a look at these four steps. Read the paragraph or passage, always start there. Read the answer choices. Ask yourself, is there relevant textual evidence to support this inference or conclusion? Then narrow down your options. You need to decide between the good and the best answer choice. The good answer choice might be based on evidence from the text, but not the text as a whole. The best inference might be made about the text as a whole and has the most evidence to back it up. Here's some quick tips for you. Ask yourself, which answer choice reflects the best inference or conclusion? Or which answer choice has the most relevant evidence to back it up? So in the nursing profession, you will make inferences each day as you diagnose and treat your patients. You'll also need to use evidence presented in case notes and other texts when deciding on the best course of action for patients. Plus, it's a key skill for this exam. Here's our first example. This is one way that you could see a question about inferences and conclusions. This is independent of an entire passage. First, read the passage, then read the short statements and decide which answer choice is the most logical conclusion. C is the best answer. Let's take a look at why. A degree in higher education can help one get a better job. This is correct because the author specifically says that graduating with a master's degree can help secure a higher paying position at a younger age. I've highlighted that portion from the text for you in yellow on your screen. Let's take a look at the incorrect answers and explanations. Education has changed significantly throughout the years. This passage is not about the change in education. Instead, it's about the increase in the number of people pursuing higher education. Modern companies often recruit from major universities. There's no information from the statements that supports this idea, so it's not a logical conclusion from this passage. Graduating from a top tier university does not guarantee job security. This is not mentioned in the statements whatsoever and is an incorrect inference. The statements refer more to how a degree in higher education will help job security. All right, here's example two. This question presents you with a scenario. So you'll need to read the scenario, then read the statements and read the answer choices carefully. Which answer choice presents the best inference? D is the best answer. Jessica is anxious about her upcoming exam. Jessica is clearly not settled and therefore feels anxious about her exam as she wakes up shaking and in a cold sweat and can't go back to sleep. I've highlighted that piece in yellow for you from the scenario. Let's take a look at the incorrect answers and their explanations. Jessica frequently experiences night terrors. This could be true, but there's no evidence from the scenario to support this idea, so it's not a valid or logical inference. 
Jessica is generally a positive person. Jessica does attempt to self-soothe at the end of the scenario, but we don't know if this is typical or atypical. There's a better answer choice here. Jessica failed her exam and could not become a lawyer. There's not enough evidence to support this answer. We don't know what happened the next day. All right, let's dive into some examples that align with the passage. What you're gonna do is use potential benefits of the placebo effect. We will zoom in on specific paragraphs. I will have them on your screen, or you can pull them up on the lesson page below this video. So here's another type of inference question. You have to read the passage and then zoom in on a specific paragraph and choose the most logical conclusion. Here we're zooming in on paragraph two. Go ahead and pause, read, and determine which is the most logical conclusion. B is the best answer. Here's why. Placebos can help treat medical ailments. The last sentence of the paragraph explains that placebos could actually be as taking other medicine. I've highlighted that in yellow for you from the paragraph on your screen. Let's take a look at the incorrect answers and their explanations. The placebo effect is not based on scientific data. The paragraph explains that there have been studies that support the use of placebos as medical treatments, so this is incorrect. Treating people with placebos is always successful. This is incorrect. The paragraph states that some people have adverse reactions to placebos, so this is not logical. Placebos are often administered without patient consent. There's not enough evidence to support this. In fact, we can infer that the placebos that are being referenced in this paragraph are within a study. So there might be a blind trial happening. It's not about consent. Here's example number four. This question asks you about the author's opinion about placebos, which is our topic. Go ahead and choose the best inference you can make based on that previous paragraph and what you can understand to be as the author's opinion about placebos. A is correct. Here's why. The use of placebos to treat pain is remarkable and that they have had a profound impact on a patient's mind. This is correct. The author seems invested in the idea of placebos while considering the counter argument. In positive cases, however, symptoms may improve despite the fact that the patient did not take any medicine. Based on relevant studies, doctors posit that the latter situation could actually be as powerful as taking medicine, especially when it comes to pain management. Here are the incorrect answers and their explanations. Using placebos as a form of medical treatment is risky in that one never knows how the patient will react. This passage is more about the benefits of placebos than the risk that they might pose. There is currently not enough information about placebos and it is necessary to continue such studies. There's no evidence from the passage to support this answer. It's not logical. Doctors who use placebos are generally able to better treat patients in need of pain management. Although the author highlights the positivity of using placebos for pain management, there's no evidence to support that this makes one a better doctor. All right, it's time to practice. Let's take a look at practice question number one. If the statements listed below are true, which of the answer choices is a logical conclusion? C is the best answer. Let's see why. Ambition and reprioritization has led women to pursue different goals. As you can see from what I've highlighted in yellow, women are exercising freedom, starting small businesses and pursuing higher level jobs. Go us. Here's the incorrect answers and their explanations. Women are less likely to marry young than ever before. This is true, but there is more to this paragraph than simply the idea that women are less likely to marry young. 
It's more about being driven to pursue higher goals. More companies hire women in the U.S. today. There's not enough evidence from the statement to support this inference. It's not logical to come to this conclusion. It is no longer appealing to women to marry at an older age. This is false. The statements explain that it is no longer appealing for women to marry at a young age. Tricked you, huh? All right, here is the next passage that we're going to be looking at. It's called Reinventing the Wheel. As usual, you can look at this passage on the screen with me, or you can pull it up under this video on the lesson page. Don't forget to ask yourself which answer choice is best. What can we logically infer to be the author's opinion? Pause here and read and try and answer the question. The history of the wheel is more complex than originally thought. This is true. There is much more to it, like children's toy prototypes and that they were created earlier than originally thought. I've highlighted that detail for you in yellow from the paragraph. Here are the incorrect answers and their explanation. Historians have falsely reported on the invention of the wheel. Historians may have got it wrong, but they were not intentionally creating false reports about the invention of the wheel. New research has surfaced. This is not logical. Children influenced many inventions throughout history. Children may have influenced the invention of the wheel, but there's no evidence here to support that they have influenced many inventions throughout history. Tricky. The wheel is the most important invention in the world today. There's no evidence to support this. It's stated in the first sentence as an introductory phrase. All right, now we're gonna look at the passage as a whole. Please pause to read on the slides or you can pull up the entire passage underneath this video on the lesson page. Pause here and read. Here's the last two paragraphs. Please pause and read. Okay, so what logical conclusion can be drawn from the passage? Think about the passage as a whole and be sure to ask yourself which answer is best. C is the best answer. Here's why. Children may have significantly impacted the invention of the wheel. Almost every paragraph in this passage references children and their impact on the invention of the wheel. Here's the incorrect answers and their explanations. The wheel is a complex invention that dates back thousands of years. This is true, but there's no mention of children and their impact, which is a crucial piece of information. Overall, this is not the best answer choice. When it comes to history, maintaining an open mind is key. Okay, sure, this might be true, but there's no evidence in the text to support this conclusion. History never wavers in that it is set in stone. This is false and not logical because this passage clearly describes how historians are taking a new look at the invention of the wheel. Okay, let's review. Logical, inference, and conclusion are three key words from this skill. Here is how we identify a logical inference. I want to really hit home on the fact that you need to make sure you are looking at the good versus the best answer choice. You have to go revisit the text to be able to get the best answer choice possible. Thanks for hanging with me today. See you guys next time. Whew, that was a lot, but really great work. See you next time.